There's always going to be a huge fan base uh, for us anywhere we play in the world. But um, yeah, I have to agree with Aaron. I think mm -hmm. um, England is probably in their conditions the most strong side in this tournament. But I also agree with Moggs that all 10 teams are so well balanced and so strong. And the fact that this is a tournament where we have to play every team once makes it all the more challenging. And I think that's going to be the, the best thing about this tournament. And I, I see this as uh, probably one of the most competitive World Cups uh, that people are going to see. It really depends on how these boys get up in the morning <laughs> and come to play, because they seem to be obsessed with getting to 500 before anyone else. <laughs> they just come and smash from ball one up to 50 overs. So, yeah, look, it could be pretty high scoring, but, you know, this back home we had a press conference and they asked this question as well. But I said, look, 260, 270 is going to be as difficult to get in a World Cup as, you know, chasing 380 or 370. I don't see many high scoring games happening at the later half of the tournament. Yeah, initially some teams might get on a roll, but you'll see 250 defended as well. That's, that's the kind of pressure the World Cup brings. Did he say that? I, I have no idea. Okay, so that's news uh, to me. News to me. <laughs> <laughs> news to Monks as well. Okay, um, well look, as we don't really focus on these things, uh, even as an individual, you don't really focus on whether people want to get you out or you're being spoken about more or you know things like that. Our focus is mainly to contribute to the team in whatever way possible. And I, I take a lot of pride in, in performing for the team and you know making impact performances every game. So if Jofra said that, it's, it's a big compliment because he himself is a world-class bowler. And the way he's come about in the IPL the last couple of years, I've seen him. And playing all around the world, there's, there's good reason why he's been you know, fast-tracked into playing for England in a, in a tournament like World Cup. So I think he's, he's probably going to be their X factor because um, he holds a skill set which is very different from anyone else. He can generate a lot of pace which can be intimidating and you don't really expect that because of his run-up. You know? But the way he's built, he's just uh, a great athlete and I'm sure the England team is, is delighted to have him as well. But he's going to be pretty exciting to watch in the World Cup. I personally would, would be watching his bowling as well, because whatever I've seen of him, he's been very, very impressive.